This is my 1957 356A. And in this video, I'm so pleased to say, finally, after a year of it sitting here and me not being able to touch it, we are starting it. First things first, I have got far too many brackets on all these blue towers and all these multi bits. There's far too many on there and they're all in the wrong place. So I think the best thing to do is to strip this whole thing, just leave the metal frame and get everything else out of the way. And more excitingly, let's open that box and have a look at these new brackets. So this is the blueprints, this is what I need. They're the blue towers that I've already got. So this is the red bit, that's this bit. These cross ones, those ones running across there. Is it these ones? Those bits there, and there, there, and there. That's these little guys. And then these silly little brackets on top, and these big ones at the front, are all of the bits that are in this box. I'm Dom, welcome to my workshop. This poor little Porsche has been sitting here for getting on for a year now. It's taken me this long to gather the bits that I need to actually get to this point. And today is that day. I've wanted one of these literally since I was a kid. It is my absolute dream car. I'm very, very grateful that I've actually got one. Um, although it is kind of half of one because it is very rusty. The only one I could afford was a bit of a wreck. I had an old 1949 F1 truck online somewhere in America, little advert for this. I was just like, oh no, I could almost afford that. If I sold the truck and sold that and moved that, just like if I sold basically everything I own, I might be able to afford that. I could get that. So I did it. A couple of pictures on this advert in a barn in Pennsylvania, buried. Literally, it's been in there for like 30 odd years. The story was that it was an old hill climb racing car. It was parked up, had an accident on the back. It was gonna be restored. Someone started taking it apart, stripped it all down, sanded it down the front end, and then gave up and moved on to something else. I had a couple of anxious months waiting whilst it was on the boat on the way over. It turns up and I've parked it here. I've gone through all of the boxes and I put all the bits up on my racking. You can see the floor panels are missing. It's got, it's got an awful lot of rust, which is okay. But because I need to cut so much of it out, I need to get it mounted on to my select table. So today is the day where we're gonna get the Porsche on the lift, take all the suspension off, bolt on the brackets, and lower it down onto that fixture table. If it's had an accident, it's gonna be slightly twisted. Rust repair is one thing, but if it's twisted and needs straightening, that's gonna be a whole nother world. Now, I definitely cannot manage doing all of this on my own. Uh, everything is way too heavy and unmovable. So luckily, I've got my good old friend John coming down this morning to give me a hand. And it feels a little bit like your dad's coming around, so I need to give a big tidy up and give a bit of a sweep up before he turns up. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. Oh, that's all right. Lovely, lovely to see you. There it is. Welcome. Oh, yes. In the flesh. First time you've seen it? First time in the flesh, mate. Yeah. Five times, yeah. lots of five times. This is the worst bit. The whole wing is What worries me is we can actually see that bit. So what <laughs> can't we see? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it only gets worse, don't worry. The plan is push everything out. This the select table out, that out the Porsche out and then down with the lift, get the catering trailer outside as well, and then bring the Porsche back in, get it up in the lift, take it all apart, drop it down there, and it's gonna line up perfectly. Okay. Every suspension mount. <laughs> Coffee then? Coffee, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Come on, push it, 
Here we go, I've got no traction in here. Oh my god! Fucking hell! Go right down. Yeah. That's my master plan. Because we've got to get the Porsche through there. I've got brakes on that head, I suggest you use it. I've never tried. Oh. Good. Oh my god, look how much space there is in there now. Right, you get the flat side, Tom. Brilliant. Yeah, that means you've got to steer. Brilliant. Kev, um, <laughs> Kev, where are you pushing from? Yeah. It's quite soft. Really? <laughs> Getting over this ramp, though, is going to be... No, go on, we'll just push it. We'll just roll straight out. This one. <laughs> Don't stop now. No point looking at it now. <laughs> yeah, it's already done. No, 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 straight, it's fine. That's it. Don't look too close. I did, I look close. It looks like a barn find now, it's covered in dust. Ready? Absolutely. That's it. Oh. This is heavier than you think. Oh, oh God. It's virtually a full size car. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all bending all over the shop. Look, this one you can cover good to use. I don't think anyone's, anyone's judging you though. I think you're okay. Look at that, eh? I'll tell you what, John. That feels so much better. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what a time to turn up. So it's going to be done by now. Yeah, you've timed perfectly. We've done all the heavy lifting. <laughs> John's in there, look, cutting pieces of wood. John! Ah, John! <laughs> <laughs> you all right, sorry. Yeah, mate, you here? Yeah. yeah, all good, all good. Just doing a bit of chippy work. Okay. Well, thanks for coming up, Ash. That's just right. as we finish, just as we finish the woodwork. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Get it on the lift now, get it up in the air, or should we take off as much of the weight as we can? Doors, bonnet, interior. A foot off the floor, we can just get the wheels off and all the, everything off before we go up too high. How about we just roll it forward two foot, take the doors off so the pillars aren't in the way. Now that's in. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee. Fine. Actually, going to jack this up right by the anti roll bar. Hold on, do not jack that on the anti roll bar. No, this, that's all I've got. No, just drop that down. No, go down. Drop it. Right. Yeah, but we're still going to go to the anti roll bar though. That the, Ash, can you lift up the body attack? No, that's fine. Look, I just need to get the jacket on. Ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's it. Go on, mate. Go on. Okay, Dom, just one point I'd like to point out. We were going to take the doors off, weren't we? We were going to take the doors off first, Tom. And then we were going to roll the car back. I thought you'd already done that. Oh, look at that. See the quick release. Ready? Ready. Well, that was... um. Comedian. Why the hell? Look at that. Why would you need to weld that? And why is it still blue? They've literally They've cut, cut, cut it, it out, out, haven't they? And welded it back in again. That's Jesus Christ, look. Mm. Go on, Doc. Look at this, my knees crunching or the car. Don't let it go, Doc. 
Oh, oh. No, that sounds horrible. Oh. Oh. It might have sounded horrible. Yeah. It looked even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's get it off the lift quickly. Let's just do this. Beautiful. Back, Thank you. Back's not touching yet. Oh, yeah. Rise of Phoenix. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> The original handbrake cable. It's got a mountain chip in it. <laughs> oh, man. oh, I love this. The way this is yeah. just. <laughs> this is the way I like to strip a vehicle. <laughs> Absolutely no, no tools required. No it's all quick release. It's Oh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, Tom, what is this? Tom, what is this? I think we may want to be um, upgrading the braking system to discs. No. No, I don't. Come on. Hey, safety first, Tom. What about the originality? That's great. Let somebody else have the originality. No, come on. Really? We will. Yeah, wow. send it over. And this is what? Hang on. Has it got a date on it? Will it have a date? Yeah, it has got a date. And? Second 57. Same year. Good That's period. a good start. Mm -hmm. That look, original upholstery. <laughs> I yeah, think it's, it's going to be a slightly um, brittle. It's, it's not leather though, it's vinyl. Yeah, vinyl. Yeah, exactly. All the ponies still in there. Yeah. Actually, it looks like you've been back here with the sound deadening. <laughs> you've got the monkey that... motion gear so, change. What does that mean? Apparently that's what they call it. Why? Oh, it's so overcomplicated and... Literally the most complicated gear linkage. They are, but they do work. Work. But nice, all there. So, no, I mean, it I can't believe be how well it's selected. Yeah, it seems to be working. <laughs> they are. Should we take it out then? Yeah. Mm. What have they made this out of? Maybe not. Actually, I think I've got the heavy end. <laughs> well, I'm going to have it all now, eh? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Put both in. Well, I've taken the weight for you. There we go. Thanks, John. There's some trivia, look. Here we are. That's the official hill climb roll cage because. You've got the stamp. I spoke to the, no, it hasn't got the badge, but I spoke to the, one of the marshal people from the, the, like the head of the authorization, and they said, oh, has he got a hole in the bottom right hand pillar? Because they drill a hole to check the wall thickness. Okay, yeah. Look. Yes, it has. Yeah, exactly. And it was literally exactly where he said it would be. Verifies that that was the cage that it, the roll cage that it had in it whilst it was racing. Not just some sort of homemade, probably homemade, but. Yeah, that it met the requirements. Yeah, it was, and the, the, the scrutineering drilled the hole, checked the wall fitness, made sure, and this passed scrutineering for the hill climb events. <laughs> not, not until we get this undone, it won't. <laughs> it is oh. a massive undertaking for one person. So, but um, yeah, you can do it. Definitely. We're all here to help. So this is actually the first time I've actually had a proper chance to look underneath. Um, it is definitely worse than I thought. It's all rusty and seized and not very good condition, but at least I've got everything. 
including my monkey. What is it? Monkey. Motion. Monkey motion. Okay, so we've taken enough to allow the nose of the gearbox to come out. So shall I stop on the interior for now? Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, come, maybe. Come and give you a hand? Or come down here. You're not going to try to undo those with yeah. that? Absolutely. That will round it off straight away. What's wrong with the screws? It's the only thing I know. No, I don't. They're, they're really it is, to be fair, you know, if you bring a carpenter to the, you know. They're not yeah, round. Oh, okay. So it's giving you a difficult job. Yeah, they, exactly. they will be round. They <laughs> will be round. What's going on with the radio on them? Can't we just get with the screwdriver? Did you actually try with the flat screwdriver? Oh, oh Justin, how's it going? Hello, I was just going to come and ask for a screwdriver. Have you got a big, fat, flat screwdriver? A big-ish. They're like, look, do you want to come and have a look? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got one here. Put a spoon on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 this does happen quite a lot when we've been on set with him. <laughs> Anyone seen Dom? Yeah. I was just going to have a little chat with the producer. Oh, OK. <laughs> It's probably best he's not here to see this bolt shear off in the bottom of the chassis rail. Well. <laughs> if you find it, if I try with this, if you can't find it, yeah, let me know if you see it. Thank you. No nice one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you getting on? You've done it. All done? Uh, Both still smiling, so. <laughs> Yeah. That's, a, that's a, a nervous, more oh, no, nervous man. Really, he couldn't find his good one. Oh, what? Come on, Ash. Look. Yeah, it. It's loose. Yeah, because I was... You must have loosened, loosened it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about to lose that one. Oh, bloody hell. God. Yeah. And I'd rather it snap off like that than break free on the inside. Do you know what I mean? Beautiful. Third one's turning without shearing. <laughs> oh, Ash, this one's turning without breaking all the well. Oh. Oh. I don't know what you were doing that side. Oh, yeah, Too much yeah. power. We are getting there with disassembling this and getting all the suspension parts off. And to be honest, the further we're getting into it, the more nervous I'm getting that this is not going to line up. There's so many suspension and main critical anchor points on that table that this portion needs to line up with. Front suspension, back suspension, gearbox mounts, another mount at the back. It's so rusty and there's obvious evidence of a, a crash at the back and on this side. I'm not sure this is going to all line up. I'm getting a bit nervous. So that felt good, Dom. That felt like it was coming undone. I would love to say we're in a good place, but I don't know. If we, are we in a good place, John? Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. Two handbrake cables away from pulling the gearbox out, and then that'll be the back end done, and then we can do all the same again at the front, which will be hopefully much more straightforward. Sure. Famous last words, hey? <laughs> when I was doing, what was it? Set design days, I guess. Yeah. So th these two, get you out of these two cowboys used to come up and give me a hand. Ash is actually, uh, can we say qualified carpenter or? And John, I don't know if he's got any qualifications actually. 
he's just good at everything. He's just so good at yeah. everything. Oh, you suck up. Hero, really. But basically, they're both very handy. Some of the jobs we ended up doing. Oh. Don't. I don't know if we want to go there. Many late nights, many last minute jobs. Okay, so maybe not any. Yeah, maybe we didn't learn that. There's another one gone. There's another one gone. Sorry? You, uh, What's gone? <laughs> just <laughs> one of these bolts is just. I lose one of them off. That was already snapped, I think. Yeah, that was already snapped. Oh, at least the only roll bar is off. <laughs> Might as well have just snapped it off. <laughs> uh, oh, well done, boys. <laughs> <laughs> John's got. Two? Sorry. Two or three? Sorry. Ash has now got two. Oh, joy. He's caught up with you quickly. Yeah. I've got one. Snap bolts. And always in really tricky positions where there's not a nut on the end. It's like a captive nut inside. This will be a job for, well, years later. We'll, be, we'll forget this happened. When we come to put the thing back together in about 10 years, we'll be like, oh, who done did these bolts? <laughs> we come to put that back one of us won't be here and we'll just blame yeah, the other one. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's time. The gearbox is going to come out, is it? Oh, is it gearbox out time? Oh, oh, here we go. Well, damn that shot. Go on then. No, hold on, there's bolt here. Yeah, not worry about that. Oh, it's the front. The nose. Oh, oh there's the nose. I've got to be very careful what I pry against. <laughs> it's all quite soft. Go on, John, just, just roll the jack back. John, just roll the jack back, mate. Just something. You should be clear now, John, if you roll it back. Okay. No, you need to go back, John. <laughs> Come on, John. John, he's sitting on, he needs to go back. It's oh, a break home. What are they like? Oh, hang on, that's not the I'm monkey. Not me. The monkey's not holding it, is it, John? No, there's no monkey left. You lost my hand, Yeah, you're literally on the edge of falling off the jack. There we go, see, John? Oh, the jack won't roll. Well, that's it. Gearbox removed. We've like the whole back end now, basically. I don't think this gearbox has been out either for a very long time or ever. <laughs> but it's, yeah, caked in grease. Covered in rust, everything's seized up, but it's out. Brilliant. Now we can work our way forwards and try and look at the front end. I've got to be honest, I can see where it has. See the line? No, it's received a, a big impact from behind. It's actually creased the inner wing. Right here, I can see where it's buckled. It's actually come out separated here I opened up there I know there's rust but it's actually under so much pressure so I think poor old Dom is going to have to do a lot of metal work why what do you mean come Dom look come see where this this crease see how it's pushed out oh jeez yeah right on the suspension right there yeah all that so the kind of accident damage on the sheet metal is one thing, that's fine. We can cut that off and replace it. If that shunt from the back has damaged and bent anything further down, we're in a whole world of... It will be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see you later. See you later. Thank you. See, see you next time. See you later. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you believe it? It's gone. Half a day. Yeah, Wait, right. hanging around for lunch. We haven't put anything up on the racking. <sighs> then there were two. Don't want to jinx it, but I'm preempting. We're getting fairly close. John, do you not think we're getting close to wheeling in the select bench? like to think so. We're getting close. Do you, but the trouble is John is now underneath there fighting with the front suspension. Beaver in a way. Ash has left to go home. So we're a man down. Um, you're going to have to get stuck in and give us a hand. Do you mind? All of this stuff on the floor, we need to get up on that shelf. Are you joking? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All for one. <laughs> That's it. The team spirit. No, we'll be fine. Just pass some bits up. We'll get them up the rack, clear this area and wheel in the select table. Come on, how hard can it be? Mm. Right. <laughs>
That's it. Lovely. Ready? Yeah. Well, that was oh, easy. Just like that, see? <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. Looks to me like you're back a bit too far. Even more. Yep. Oh, oh, that is so close. Oh. Oh. It's looking good. That's it. That's it. That's the holder there. Grease on those. Oh. Oh, yeah. We seem to have a twisted car. Oh, little, little, little bit less. <laughs> and I just apply a slight bit of. There she goes. See, with the dorm on one wing, it fits perfectly. If I just stay here, off a bit. What a day. My God, honestly. I knew it was going to be d difficult, but that was something else, wasn't it? That was a fight the whole time. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. It's emotional. It has been a real roller coaster, but is this not the happy ending that everyone dreams of? Like, it, this is now confirming all eight points are bolted in, fixed in, all the locators are in properly, it's bolted down. My 356 is not that Ben. <laughs> <laughs> After a hard lifetime, I think it is amazing. It's uh... yeah. I know there's rusty bits and there's wonky bits, but knowing that all eight structural main anchor points are in line and okay, does I'm um, very happy. I think this was the easy bit, Dom, compared to, <laughs> to where you're going now. <laughs> Christ, yeah. But hey, at least we know we've got a good foundation. Thank you, John, very very much. Bit so, emotional, Dom. Fantastic. Well, one last thing. Can you help me push it forwards? <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was coming? <laughs> just, just get it off the ramp. Come on. <laughs>